Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and uh, welcome to the third dimension. So today we have another short and an interesting video regarding the difference between parametric and non-parametric families inside Revit. So you know the first thing is that what exactly are parameters inside Revit? So this is something which we even uh, discussed in our previous video that uh, parameters are sort of aspects or dimensions or properties of an object or a component or family that you make inside Revit. So for example, uh, if an object has a length and a width and a specific material, so these are the parameters of that object. So now the main question is what are parametric and non-parametric families? Uh, you know, in parametric families, we can control the parameters of that object. And in non-parametric values, we cannot do that. So, for example, if you want to edit a non-parametric family, you would have to open it uh, in the family editor and you would have to manually edit all the extrusions and all the, you know, the sweeps and everything. But in the case of parametric values, um, it can be done in just a few clicks, all right? I mean, the properties are easily controllable, the length and the width and the material and the visibility and everything. So that's the main, uh, the main difference. In parametric, you can easily control these parameters. And in non-parametric, you cannot easily control them. You would have to open that object in the family editor. So now the main question is, uh, how do you make a simple and a basic parametric family inside uh, Revit? So we can do that by going to the families. Again, in this case, you would have to use the family instead of the models. Let's go, let's make a, a simple generic model this time. So we're in the reference level, which is uh, sort of, um, you know, a top view. Of our object so the first thing you'd have to do is uh, set your exterior boundaries right the exterior um, limits or boundaries of your object we can do that by reference planes so reference planes is something which you're going to use the most while making families so we usually you know in this case let's just give it a top a left and uh, let's instead of making it again we can just simply mirror it same case with this one now let's uh, rename this to the left side and uh, this is going to be your front side and this is the, the back side. Let's give it to right. So now these are the four, you know, sort of exterior boundaries or limits that we have made for our object. Now the next thing in making families are the dimensions. You would have to make dimensions and then you know those dimensions you would have to convert it into a parameter. Whatever I say is going to slowly make sense once we start doing it uh, and always choose equal so that it's equal on both the sides. And, uh, same, same case as this one equal as usual and uh, remember whenever you're setting these dimensions always choose this, these reference planes right don't choose any other object otherwise you're going to have a lot of bugs because things are going to get complicated when there are a lot of you know surfaces and a lot of edges and everything so once you make these dimensions now we have given it the ex our exterior limits we have given it dimensions now we'd have to change these dimensions into parameters we can do that by going to this section which is the label dimension or simply by going to family type. So both of them are the same thing. So let's let's convert this dimension into a parameter. So let's name it as length. And uh, we want an instance one which we could change for every object specifically. I mean, so that our this length is not specified to a whole family, all right? And uh, so now, as you guys can see, we have converted this dimension into a parameter. And uh, similarly for this case, let's again do the same. This is going to be the width and again an instance one and a group parameter under dimensions is fine. And of course, it's the length. All right. Uh, a type of parameter, it's length in the case of volume or anything else, it's going to change. So once we're done with this, now we have set our exterior boundaries and everything. We can even test that by uh, going to the family type. So now we have converted the dimensions into parameters. I hope I'm making sense. Now let's give it uh, seven feet. 
and as you saw on the left side it automatically changes because now the parameters are under our control uh, six feet it automatically changed now let's go for our extrusion let's create a very simple let's make a box and uh, when you make these extrusions you would have to lock your uh, these extrusions into the reference planes right you would have to lock your edges or these lines you know the boundaries of your object into these reference planes so that once we change that dimension they automatically change and uh, let's go to shaded now we have a parametric box a simple a very basic parametric box inside uh, Revit software um, now if we wanna for example you know we have made already a parametric family if you wanna change the length of this we can just simply change the length into 10 feet and it would automatically change now I even want to give uh, I mean thickness to this box so we are on the front uh, on the front side I mean on the front view and uh, the procedure is again the, the same it's the same for all uh, let's extend this line so now in order to give it a thickness let's go to reference planes again let's give it our reference plane let's name it to depth of uh, depth of box okay and let's uh, extend this a little bit so we have given it uh, you know we have set the exterior boundary uh, again dimensions now let's choose this dimension and let's convert it into a parameter so thickness of box or depth okay you guys can get it uh, and again it's instance type of parameter is length and group of parameter under dimensions so now we have converted uh, this um, dimension into a parametric into a controllable parameter right now again we would have to set our box into these um, you know these boundaries that we have set so always use the align tool so that things get simple and uh, let's lock it now our you know the thickness of this box is again it's controllable we have we have given it a boundary we have locked the boundary now we go to family types so under dimensions we even have a thickness so let's um, change it into four feet as you guys saw we we converted we controlled the thickness of that and uh, so these are you know um, controllable and parametric families which uh, we have inside Revit okay so now let's uh, load our parametric uh, component into a project this is a, an architectural uh, template that I just opened so load into project and uh, when you go to components so this is the family five that we created and we can simply just place it right here so when you click on this these are the the dimensions or the parameters that we had set in our family editor now at the same time let's go to file and uh, view and let's go to family let's go to generic models and let's make um, a simple you know um, a non parametric object uh, yeah so this is um, without anything right uh, without I mean any setting any of the dimensions or it's just a, a normal default family so let's uh, load this into uh, project one this is family six as you can see on the top left side so this is the non parametric one so when we click on this we can now uh, change the length of this into uh, 15 feet and it would automatically change and in this case we can't do that uh, so if you want to edit a non-parametric family you would again have to go back into the family editor and you would have to do it there uh, so let's now change it so we have changed load into project 
and uh, override the existing version and its parameter values. So now it's changed. So now I think whatever I've said in the previous minutes, everything is going to make sense now. And uh, so these are this is a parametric family, and this is a non-default or non-parametric family. Um, so I go. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something from it. This was a very basic parametric versus non-parametric object in Revit, and uh, I'm even going to start a new series in which we're going to design furnitures and uh, parametric, um, you know, components and furnitures or internal decor objects which we usually have in our site plans. So make sure to stay tuned with us and uh, have a good day.